Sandwiches pair with booze inspired by March Madness regions, the rollout of new concepts, and higher menu prices were the main ingredients why investors overlooked a rare earnings miss from wing joint Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, that and the fact sales have spiked almost 12% five weeks to start the year, held by strong interest in the Super Bowl and college bowl games. Here's what I learned from talking with Buffalo Wild Wings CEO Sally Smith on Thursday night, all of which suggests the earnings miss was a rare one-off. First, on the menu for March Madness, a sandwich called the New Yorker that features pastrami on a pretzel roll and paired with a Sam Adams Boston lager. Another, a Bayou Po' Boy sandwich that takes shrimp and sauces and serves it with a sweet, boozy drink called a hurricane, which is native to New Orleans. And yes, Buffalo Wild Wings is considering another modest menu price increase for the fourth quarter, but not before. In November last year, it raised menu prices by 3% to offset wing price inflation. And at minority-owned fast-casual pizza joint Pizza Rev, it will open 25 to 30 new locations this year, bringing the chain size to 50. Look out, Domino's and Pizza Hut. Rusty Taco, a majority-owned Mexican cuisine destination, now numbers nine locations and is seen opening up more spots this year as well. What? You thought the only restaurants in business nowadays were Shake Shack and Chipotle? Get over yourself. This has been Brian Sazi for The Street.